Hey, so my name is Josiah. Hopefully some of you know me. Um, I will be giving the devotional today on Pastor Mike's book, uh, Stepping Forward. It is the 17th day, I believe, yes. And the scripture is Ephesians 3, 20 through 21. I'll just read it to you. It is, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. So basically what this verse is saying, um, well, the first thing it's assuring us is that God is able to do beyond what we can imagine. And a lot of times when we pray, we just pray for just everyday things, which is good to pray for everyday things, but God also wants us to have a larger vision, a spiritual perspective, to pray for things that really matter, um, people's salvations, um, think personal struggles that really mean something to us. A lot of times we'll just pray just because we feel like we have to, and it makes us feel better because, oh, I prayed. But I don't. Th there's a lot of people that haven't experienced what true prayer is like, and the feeling is a it's an awesome communication with God, and a lot of people miss out on like true communication with God, where He's speaking to you, you're speaking to Him, and it's a real communication, and it's you're really talking to Him and opening up to Him and knowing He's hearing you about your struggles and other people that you're concerned for, and it's not just something trivial um but of course, so that's the first thing the verse talks about is um god being able to do beyond what we imagine so our prayers it's not hurt, it's not testing god's power god has power beyond what we can even pray for so we don't have to feel like he's limited our prayers don't have to be limited we our prayers should be should be big because we have a big god um then the other thing that i noticed about the verse I believe it talks about in the um, devotion as well, but it says, according to the power that works within us. And a lot of times we forget that God is working within us. A lot of times we don't, we thwart his movements within our lives because we, we want to do what we want to do. And we forget that he is trying to work in our lives to make us better people, to make our lives better. And we think that we know what's best for our lives. And of course we don't. And he, honestly, people... A lot of people, actually probably everybody, they don't allow God to have full control because our lives could be something that reflects his glory, something that we could be a, a people that bring people to Christ to do things of eternal value, eternal significance, laying up our treasures in heaven. Um, but the power that works within us, that's a really awesome thought to think that God's working on our behalf. We have someone in heaven god all powerful who wants to help us and that's one of the awesome things we have as christians is a god who not only is loving and not only wants to help us but also has the power to help us and if we um if we'll call out to him then he'll hear us and if we ask according to his will and faith then he will do it and that's a promise of scripture and it's, e it's easy to forget that god has power it's easy to forget that he's trying to work in our lives we need to let him um, and then at the end of the verse, it says, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. And that's another thing is to him be the glory. It's easy to take the glory for ourselves. Me too. Everyone wants to be recognized, honored, but we have to realize that ultimately, the glory is God's. He's the one that made us. He's the one that changed us. And we should want to be giving glory to him. Um, which leads me to um, kind of my last point here is that the, this is one of the most important things in life. And there's, there's a lot of things in life that people get caught up in. But the true significant things are the things that are eternal, laying up treasures in heaven. The treasures we have on earth, they're cool, but... The treasures in heaven are the treasures that are going to last forever. And it's, it's the perspective we should have as an eternal perspective, a mindset that focuses on God, on heaven, on things that are eternal, um, on building a relationship with God, building a relationship with other people, sharing the gospel, doing his will, showing love to other people, the things that really matter. And of course, giving glory to God is one of those things. It's one of the things we were made to do. And when we accomplish the purpose for which God made us, that's what really makes us fulfilled. A lot of people, they don't feel fulfilled in life. It's because they're not doing the things they were made to do. They're not accomplishing things that really matter.
But anyway, really good verse, uh, Ephesians 3, 20-21, um, really good chapter in the devotional. Uh, thank you guys for listening. All right, bye.